Comment down below if you're surviving. This is going to be your transportation based off your birthday in the zombie apocalypse. This is what I got. My birthday is in January, so I'm going to have to have a cyborg camel. And I ain't going to cap. I can survive with this. Now, as long as that motherfucker ain't going slow, but if it's a cyborg, that mean that motherfucker should be able to do some extraordinary ass things like go fast, hop high as hell. And you see, he already come with the chopper on standby, so I'm ready to go. If it could do what I think it could do, this motherfucker gonna be basically like having superpowers in the zombie apocalypse. February got an ATV. I ain't gonna cap. You can't really do shit with an ATV. If you don't know how to survive, you over it. All right, March got something decent. Ain't no zombies gonna be able to get inside this motherfucker. They gonna be able to survive for sure as long as they got gas. April bogus as hell. I ain't gonna cap to you. You got no protection with that motherfucker. That shit is worse than the ATV. Well, it do got guns and shit on it, so you might be able to survive with that motherfucker if you good at surviving. May gonna have it good. They got a whole flight suit. They gonna be able to get all across the world with that shit, and they don't gotta worry about no zombies. Well, that's only if they flying in the air. And hopefully it's able to turn into a book bag, because if it can't fold into a book bag, they ain't going to be able to move around with that motherfucker on the ground. June got a tank. Ain't no zombies going to be able to get inside that motherfucker. As long as they got gas, they don't got to worry about zombies. But that shit is big as hell, so it might draw lots of attention. It going to draw attention out of zombies and the people that's trying to take your tank from you. Yeah, July over with. You was not surviving with no electric tricycle. They didn't give you no weapons to go with that motherfucker. Man, what the fuck August got going on? I can't tell if that's a boat or a car. Or if it's a car boat, August got the best shit going. Because if you was out the water, you don't got to worry about no zombies. But if you could drive on the land as well with that motherfucker, you got the ultimate vehicle. And they vehicle already come with guns, so they going to be strapped up on that motherfucker. I ain't going to cap September finna have a hard time. They got a bike with a gun on it. They ain't going to be able to do shit with that. I ain't gonna cap September could have made something like this on their own. But at least it's not as bad as July. July don't even got a gun. Alright, October is able to fly just like May, but it look a little bit different. But October got an actual jetpack, and you see his arms, it look like he got like a little exoskeleton arm. So he probably could be like Bucky or some shit from Captain America. Which one y'all think is better, May or October? I honestly think October is a little bit better because it look more compact and easy to move around in. Alright, November got a horse. I ain't gonna cap. This the bogus version of January. This just look like a horse with armor around it. It only got a gun up on it. It might have a gun in a little pouch. But y'all see, January got a full cyborg camel with a motherfucking gun up on it. Last we got December. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know if this good or bad, you feel me? Because this shit look like it's slow as hell. And that motherfucker big as hell, so motherfuckers gonna be able to notice that. So if motherfuckers wanna shoot that shit out the sky, it's gonna be easy for them to do it. But which month do y'all think got the best transportation? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think my month is the best month, and I'm not saying it just because it's my birthday. Just think about it. I'm gonna have a super pet, and you ain't gonna feel as lonely because you're gonna have someone with you all the time. Even though it's not a person, it's gonna be like having a pet with you. You'll be able to sleep more comfortably just because the camel going to be able to watch over you while you're sleeping. And since it's a cyborg, it's most likely going to be able to defend itself against the zombies. And I don't know how it works, but since it's a cyborg, I'm assuming that it's not going to need food and water as well.